after uh, making this uh, we'll be manipulating it like i told you so here we'll make the same box but the design will be different so that is what i want i want you guys to make this make one box and make a product and then find out the possibilities of manipulating the product again and making more designs with it try to make them uh, a bit complex also as you proceed ahead so we have made the box again if the box is a wooden so try to give the texture of the wooden surface as well but for every box that you made a cabinet or something then you must give a double line the way that i am doing this can become a uh, one box uh, uh, drawer that you can make this can become a shoe rack or something likewise you can make a tv unit also so we give give depth to it now by looking at this line we make a parallel line this part will go inside so the part which is going inside you always tend to make lines inside like that to show the part is going inside so as far as furniture is concerned you can design the furniture in this way show this inside make them double line by doing this it will look like it is the inside part here also we'll do the same thing to give this a look of a drawer pull this out pull this out pull this out and pull that out and make a small circle and give this a shading like that and finish it give this the shading and finish it so that's is how i want you guys to design and then give some lines so you can make lines at an angle and then start making them straight and make strokes to get the texture that i ask you to do which is the wood this is an easy way to get the wood over here keep on making strokes and you'll get the texture
got one cabinet which is going inside now uh, we'll do more manipulations with it so again we'll be making a box it depends uh, how long you want to keep the box it depends also on the elements that you want to add to it as well and i'm adding one more box down which i have kept inside of it this is solely upon you guys how you want to manipulate the design only thing that i am expecting you guys to do it 3d and get the depth and get parallel lines so you see this line and make a parallel line over here I will go at six thirty. I will go at six thirty. Six thirty five, six thirty six forty. He has asked me to reach. I have to make this video. This is very important. So again I'm on the back panel also I'm giving a double line
made one more design like that now we'll uh, manipulate this further again by adding the legs to it so what more we can do is so in a page you should have at least six to seven designs of uh, one common subject that you are being talked about and that is how you can score good marks in the exam as well if they will ask you a question of, uh, of about 20 marks then you should uh, make at least two faces of a design or two possibilities of a design and compose it in the page nicely as well Here we can add up the legs. It doesn't matter if it is overlapping, that is okay. Pull this inside and make that. Make it dark from inside and pull it out. Make it light. Give this part like this. Add up the details as uh, you like to do. I'm reducing this length and I'm making it deep actually. So just see how I'm gonna do that. This is the phase which is on the left. This is the phase which is at the front. So this is where your design will get complex. And uh, straight nice lines will make it look elegant and uh, all the aesthetics will be in place. And see how the strokes are happening. Same way I want you guys to make strokes. Find out the possibilities guys. Like draw as uh, many possibilities as possible of one design. So that you could come up with your own uh, ideas and designs actually. And that is what uh, the examiner wants to see as well. If you have got a good set of uh, understanding and the ideas are there. You can manipulate one idea to another one. So they will give you an open ended question not to be asking you how to uh, make more options with it and all. They will never ask you to make more options but you must show more options to them so that they could justify marks also. If they are allotting you marks, so they could able to also uh, give you more marks if you have got more work. Now see we have given the depth to it and I am using this part to make a parallel line over here and we will see this part and make a parallel line. That's how I have found this depth over here. For well, that you can make these lines. And confine the depth. But things will become complex from here when we give depth and we uh, make something which is going down and you can show the depth and all. 
and that is how we'll be making the toaster and the stapler and other things as well after doing the furniture there is the next thing that we have to do but i really want you guys to draw the furniture very well especially the drawer Again, uh, give the shadow to the product. And pick up some speed also with it. After making these drawers, we come to the table chair again and start uh, manipulating the chair and the table. Slowly we will move to the couch and uh, sofas actually. Then the kitchen utensils which is very important again. Drawing the spoon and the knife and uh, uh, kettle or something that is what we have to see later on. I divide this part and divide that part for the table to see how the depth will come. 